Flying Scotsman is the most recognisable steam locomotive literally ever, so logically we need to start with how Trackmaster depicted him. In real life, Scotsman had two tenders at one point, and also smoke deflectors and one tender at another. When he was adapted for the Great Race, he featured both, so that's a red flag for unrealism. Flying Scotsman also reused Gordon's running board and therefore has rectangular buffers, whereas he has round buffers in the show. His face is also, um, oversized. It takes up the entire smoke box and has a gimmicky, slightly winking expression which is accurate to the character, but couldn't we just get a normal smiling face? I feel your pain, wooden railway people. Anyway, here's the big point that everyone hated. So, Scotsman is fast, the first engine to go 100 miles an hour as a matter of fact. Don't at me, City of Truro. Trackmaster depicted this with steam clouds on the locomotive and tenders. This is totally unrealistic and very distracting. In fact, I'm gonna fix this, so listen close, Mattel. So how about, for the three-pack of the movie, he has exclusive clouds and in all the other releases he doesn't, hey? Who am I kidding, the movie came out seven years ago and Mattel has other priorities. So naturally, in a Trackmaster Greatest Moments pack or a New Friends pack if you remember those, you would get the engine and one piece of rolling stock. Okay, cool, that's fine, but you can probably sense the problem here. Flying Scotsman in the show has two tenders, and Trackmaster, instead of making a four pack, just released him with two tenders. So you are technically paying for one engine instead of an engine with at least some form of rolling stock. Well, those tenders also were coloured in green with darker green tender chassis. For the Greatest Moments release of the film, this is what you got. But whoops, Mattel seems to have dropped some cash because they removed this dark green printing in all his other releases. The tenders themselves are okay though, I guess, but they're literally not compatible with any of Trackmaster's Revolution's gimmicky locations. This can be solved by removing a tender and making them look more real-life accurate. In the prototype, he had green traction tyres, what else is there to say about that? And in conclusion, other rangers were able to depict Flying Scotsman a lot better, and even though he didn't reuse Gordon's shell, ahem, uh, Ertl, the model is still inaccurate, incompatible, and unsightly. Also, can I just add, why did Playrail never make him? He would have literally looked insane. Capsule Playrails does, but oh well, overall he gets a 7 out of 10. The face is pretty cool and if we excuse his steam clouds, he does actually resemble the real dealer somewhat. Also, what are those eBay prices? I mean, those are ridiculous. He is still being made, literally. Why?